Hello and welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, strange week this week with all the events that's happened. Really sad um, for the whole country, Commonwealth, for everyone around the world really. So um, this vlog's a week late. It, this was the one that was going to be put on last week. So we're making some floor lockers, uh, really just like a cold storage that's going to sit into the small space under the floor in the bilge. Um, we just want to make some protective boxes in there for uh, the food and bits to sit into. So the bilges are all cleaned out and given another coat of the grey bilge paint and now it's time to construct the boxes that are going to sit inside those openings. Um, we're using weddy board uh, again like we've done for waterproofing and a tile backer in other parts of the boat and then we're just sticking these sides on using CT1 adhesive. This is going to like provide a bit of a watertight seal all the way around the edges but also we're going to um, waterproof the edges, you'll see that in a minute with uh, some uh, backboard tape and tile adhesive just to protect those blue areas so that no moisture can come from through the bilge and through into these little boxes that are going to fit in the uh, in the bilge for the storage of food and chocolate probably. Yeah, and drink. <laughs> and drink. <laughs> Once the boxes were all glued up we left them overnight to to sort of dry off and uh, seal and then we started doing the tiling. Oh. It's about 32 mil that is. So if we cut them at 15 mil each one. Yeah. That should do us right for there and there then. Yeah. Right, we've had a rethink. Had a re well, we say we've had a rethink. <laughs> We've had a rethink. I'm missing doing diamonds. And it's a bit of a herringbone as well to go with the wall tiles. Yes, dear. And we've got plenty of tiles. So now it does work Guess out. Guess what shape we're going. It does work out better because they stretch across side to side. So that's what part am I going for now. Diamonds. <laughs> and they should, yeah. And we've just got to cut these down there to yeah. drop in there and there and there and there and there and there and there. Perfect. Right, let's cut them then. Cut some diamonds then. Yeah. Right. Thank you. 
in the middle. And then we get the tiles in um, because it's such a little tight space we put the adhesive on the back of the tile and pushed it in um, rather than put the adhesive in the box later on you'll see us that we tried it the other way putting the adhesive in first then the tiles um, turned out to be a bit of a nightmare really <laughs> well ad was covered covered in the stuff so uh so if you're going to do something like this in a little box and you're an amateur, I would... Uh... Amateur? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you're not professional. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, this is an easier way of doing it, putting the, if you're an the amateur. adhesive on the back. <laughs> if you're an amateur. Put it on. Anyway, I start cutting all the tiles for the edges. Like professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very professional. <laughs> running out of this uh, stuff as long as we've got enough to go over the edge we just help bond that together once we put the uh, cement tile adhesive over. We're also putting it on so when we put the tile ad adhesive on it seals this blue bit. There it does. eagle-eyed amongst you I know you might notice that I've sort of I've graduated now from an amateur to sort of semi-professional standard 
Um, yeah, as you can see, that's not amateurish at all. It's virgin on professional. <laughs> making a cake says the professional in the corner <laughs> Good at making cake, I? <laughs> I was just thinking about some of the cakes you've made, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Not my forte. Emergency cakes. I'll never be doing one of them cooking programmes, will I? Uh, no. I'm alright cooking, baking, definitely no. We'll have to just keep nipping around to Holly's cafe boat. Yeah. They're proper cakes. They're proper cakes. Yeah, they're proper cakes, aren't they? My cakes look more like biscuits. Um. <laughs> I don't know if biscuits is a good word. <laughs> The last one looked like a slab of toffee. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it's supposed to be a Victoria sponge. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I usually use all the ingredients, the wrong ingredients anyway. We never have the right stuff. So I just put anything in. with cooking you can put anything in and it still as long as it tastes all right so you yeah, can use your that's, leftovers that's always a good thing yeah. <laughs> but the baking baking you just can't improvise no not as much as i do anyway <laughs> This was when I had a go at making honeycomb. Yeah, that was probably the best. <laughs> Throwing two <laughs> saucepans and a frying pan away. Yeah. Yeah. And my teeth. <laughs> mm. So this is the second box. Uh, we found a bit more of the tape. So we've got some, so it's wider. So we can put the full width on um, and this was the best tape that we used that width um, just to give a lot more grip around all sides She's read all the instructions and now she's got the hoover out. <laughs> As you can see. As you can see, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not very professional. <laughs> no, no, no. Get in the corners. So once that's all tidied out, um AD put the some spacers and these are just like the, yeah. the space wedges that we used in the kitchen. And we've got loads of them left, so we've used them instead of tile spacers. <coughs> Excuse me. And the reason why we've got these down is uh, because if there is any water that gets into the bilges, we still want it to be able to flow underneath the uh, boxes. These aren't being, we're not putting this tile stuff on to, for it to stick down on the bilge bottom. It's really to go on the box bottom, but so you can still get like a, a flat bit on the, 
yeah. bilge, if you see what I mean. So when the boxes are down, they have got something that they're sitting on flat um, rather than like being a bit lopsided. So, and it's just to keep them in place really. Is it easier for you to do it yourself? Yeah, So that fits down, um, not too tight, but sort of like a nice, nice fit. And we just push it down onto those tile spacers. And them tile spacers are there to now have a good solid base. And all that's left for me to do then is the remainder of the uh, tile adhesive. I just went all the way around that edge between the, the box and the uh, wooden frame just to seal in any gaps and uh, fill in all any any spaces there really and just pressed it down so that it sort of ran behind the back of the box yeah um, it's good it's it's so we can't no damp or, or yeah, yeah condensation or yeah will come up through them holes yeah so it's sort of water airtight if you like around there now they are going to be covered with a wood trim you aren't you, you aren't going to see any of that, any of that glue no. but for now that fills the uh, holes so different once you start grouting in it yeah just uh yeah don't look so raw then do they no. for now and then we'll just polish it up in a bit. Yeah. Well done, Grandad. So now we've got the two cold storage areas. Um, originally one was going to have a wooden top and one was going to have a glass top. Um, but we've decided to have a third one now. Um, so the two light blue ones that we've just done are going to have a wooden top wooden lid um, and we're now marking out for a third one the only problem with this third one is that we had done all the prep for the other two when we actually laid the floor so to do this one we've got to take the floor up again um, to add some um, joists what do you would you call them? yeah just sort of strengthers underneath the ply where where the where the hole 
from front to back of the boat is really just to strengthen the floor where the ply sits down. bit of dust under there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I think I better over that up before we do anything else. So we're having to cut that but we'll seal it up again. And just down here do you think or down the middle and fold it? Yeah down the middle where it's already got a join. So once these extra bearers were put into place, um, AD screwed them in from the ends, um, made them quite tight, uh, and then we took the, the bricks out. We haven't got the footage for this, I don't know where it's gone, so this is what happened. <laughs> you just have to trust us. Um, yeah, so we just screwed them in for the for either end and and they were secure enough.
not it's not gone down. between the steel bearers in the floor so it, the hatch isn't quite level sort of in parallel with the um, the foot space in the dinette um, but when we come to put the glass top on as the lid we're going to make a feature of the other bit so it all looks like it fits it's nice and neat. It, yeah it'll fit sort of square in that dinette space floor then won't it so this stuff is what's this stuff Backboard tape. So this stuff is backboard tape, not the uh, proper wedding. stuff for this. Yeah, for the wedding board. Um, does exactly the same job, same thing really. This box we're constructing in a different order. So we're putting the tape and the adhesive on the outside first before we tile. Right. See that one. Yeah. Yeah. So this, future, yeah. so this stuff is this stuff is um, uh, tile adhesive with it's flexible, waterproof, obviously, and it's got like fibre strands in it, so helps with the flex and the strength and stuff of it as well. Because like mm. rather than just being a paste, it's got like a Strands in it that will like I pick bombs and whatever. It's quite a lot of work in them, isn't the boxes? <laughs> if you're going to do it waterproof. Yeah. I didn't want to put a wooden one. I didn't want to put ply on the, in, no. in the build in the really. Build, yeah, no. I don't know how long other, it'll last. All the other stuff I've got in there is um, treated timber in it and stuff, and it's all. And treated timber and it's also we've painted it with bilge paint and everything I'm to try and preserve it so yeah. yeah unless you're going to use like a hardwood in there but then even then it's gonna suffer with anything into it mm. yeah this stuff's just like um, scrim tape in it that you use with on your plastering joint and plaster joints and stuff in it yeah. they're very similar I suppose probably Probably the same stuff but twice as one yeah. Not only are we doing this in a different order, putting the uh, adhesive on the outside first before we tile, we decided to uh, put all the adhesive in the box first and then tile on top. Um, and we made much more of a mess. It just was messy. <laughs> the tiles black on this one because there's going to be some uh, little lights in there only lights that are run from its own little battery we're not putting any wires uh, in there um, and it's going to have a glass I thought you were having a torch in there by the looks of that 
That was me. All right. I, I thought wanted... that was a light for the box. <laughs> I wanted to be a dentist assistant uh, one day, so I thought I'd practice with the tiling. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have a, a glass, glass a glass lid on this one, and this is going to be for the booze. Um, people put wine in. We're not big wine drinkers, but the bottles of vodka and gin fit in there quite nicely. <laughs> We've tried it. Yeah, yeah, and it looks small, but there was we can get five. Twenty nine. <laughs> <What? laughs> yeah, uh, plenty of miniatures. Yeah. So when the boat's eventually finished and we can lay the floor, um, you'll see the lids being made. Then um, for for now, they're just going to have the ply put back on, on back top. on the top of them. Um, we'll still use them, but yeah, you won't see the glass lids and the nice tops on for a while.